So today's class, we're going to be doing gentle yoga, and we're going to be doing it from a chair. So I highly recommend that if you cannot sit solid on the seat of your chair, and the chair you use should, you know, preferably have no arms, so that you can move your arms freely without having to worry about the arm of the chair getting in the way. And if you're sitting on and your feet don't come down flat, maybe you can just touch the ball of your foot down, or maybe you can put your feet flat if you push down into your feet. Uh, that's gonna start to bug you after a while, that pressure against the back of the leg. So even if you're on the tip of your toes, it's gonna start to bug you after a while. So the easier solution is to put blocks there. So if you have a couple of blocks, you can have one for each foot. If you only have one block, then just turn the block sideways so you can plant your feet down. You wanna have a nice flat lap. You don't want your knees too high either. That won't work. And you don't want your too much of a slope in your knees. So you're really ideally looking for that flat surface here. So let's sit up nice and straight. Don't lean back in the chair. You're gonna be you're gonna be really tempted to do that because it's gonna be like much more relaxed feeling. But instead, I want you to sit up straight and lengthen up through the spine. Relax the shoulders. And you can close your eyes here if you like. And just begin to focus on your breath. Breathing in and breathing out. And every breath you take, feel your shoulders relax down just a little more. Let your arms get heavy. But at the same time, you want to keep that spine nice and straight. Chin level to your lap. And now we're going to focus more on our breath by breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. And when we breathe in, push your belly out. So let's take an inhale in through the nose, push the belly out. And exhale slowly through the nose. Keep going, breathing into the belly. Breathing out. And if you'd rather have your eyes open, you can do that. Just keep them soft. That belly pushing out on the inhale. And release. And this time as you exhale, I want you to constrict your throat just a little bit so that you start to hear a sound that sounds a little bit like the ocean coming up through the throat. So let's inhale, exhale. Keep breathing, you can let your eyes float open, and let's inhale the arms up. Reaching up, keep the shoulders relaxed, and then exhale, drop them back down again. Inhale up, reach up, and just reach up as far as your arms are able to today. Don't have to touch fingers if it's not possible. Inhale up again, looking up toward the ceiling this time, lifting your chin up. Exhale as you drop the hands down, drop your chin to chest. Inhale up, look up, reach up. Exhale, dropping hands, chin to chest. Inhale up, reach up. And this time on your exhale, you're going to drop your right hand down. And you can either reach for the floor or you can grab the side of your chair if you feel unstable. And we're just going to do a little side bend. Reach, stretch, keep your bottom planted. Don't lift your cheeks up. 
Inhale, reach back up again. Exhale, let's drop the other arm down on the other side and take side bend to the left. Stretch, reach, and breathe. Keep the breath moving. Inhale that arm up. Let's go once more to the right. Side bend to the right. Inhale back up. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale back up. And this time on your exhale, we're gonna come into the seated twist. So we're gonna take our right hand, we're gonna reach just behind the chair. If you've got a back on your chair, if you're sitting on a stool, just reach for the back of the seat of the chair. And then we're gonna bring the left hand down to our lap and we're gently gonna start to push our right shoulder back as far as we can. It might not go back very far because the chair is in the way. Instead, focus on bringing the left shoulder forward. And you can look that direction, turning your chin toward your shoulder. Take a few breaths here, keep the breath moving. I'm back to center, inhale up, reach up, exhale, let's twist to the other side now. Deep breathing, nice, slow, deep breaths. Into the belly. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, and then inhale the arms up. Reach up. Let's do that once more. Going to the right this time. This time I'm trying to reach behind the back of my chair over the top of it. If your arm allows you to do that, you can... Go a little bit deeper that way. Sit up nice and straight. Push all the air out. And then take a deep inhale and lengthen up through your spine. Exhale. See if you can come just slightly deeper into that twist. Push the shoulder back. Come forward to center. Inhale the arms up. Exhale. Let's go to the other side. Sitting up nice and straight. Breathe with each exhale. See if you can go just a little deeper into your twist. Release, inhale, come back up, reach up again. This time we're gonna come down, forward fold. So you're gonna bring your arms down between your legs and you're gonna reach for the floor, your blocks. Just Relax here, keep pressing the belly down, reaching deeper and deeper. Now, how deep you're going is up to your back. So if you can only get about here and you're stuck, place your hands on your thighs. Don't place your hands on your knees and just use that as leverage and balance to keep the pressure on. For those of you that can bring your chest down closer to your lap area, you're gonna start reaching for the floor. And then you're gonna to start to try to press your palms down. It's all about where you're at today. So anywhere from about here leaning over to right down here with hands flat on the floor, any place in between is where you're at and that's good, you're doing it. You're gonna come back up again. So if you need support to do that, place your hands on your thighs, press into your thighs, come back up. Inhale the arms up. Exhale. Bring your hands behind you. If you've got a back of a chair here that you can grab onto, great. If you've got a stool, grab onto the back of the seat of the chair, or you can clasp hands together. And even if you've got it back on your chair, you can reach and clasp hands together. You're going to take your hands, get as close as they can get to each other. Take an inhale, lift up your rib cage. Exhale, relax your head back, lift the chin up toward the ceiling. You're gonna get a nice arching in the low part of your back. Breathe, take a couple of deep breaths here. One more inhale, nice and deep. Exhale, release. 
Inhale the arms up. Exhale into prayer. Inhale the arms up again. This time on the exhale, you're going to reach down and you're going to grab right underneath your right leg, just in the thigh area, and you're going to pull that knee up toward your chest and release it down. So how far you pull it up toward your chest is going to depend on how your hip is feeling. So really be aware of the difference between stretch and pain. If you feel any pain in your hip, you need to not push it too far. If it's just that achy stretch, then keep bringing it up toward your chest. Don't bring your chest down toward your leg. So inhale the arms up. Exhale, reach underneath the left leg, bring that knee up toward the chest. Exhale it down. Inhale the arms up. Let's come into prayer. So we're gonna to start to sequence all of these coming into a flow. And I want you to do your best to follow along with me. It's just flowing from one movement to the other. And we've done all the movements already. So take a deep breath in, inhale, reach up. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, back up. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, back up. Exhale, twisting to the right. Inhale, back up. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, back up. Exhale, reach underneath your right leg. Inhale the knee up. Exhale it down. Inhale up. Exhale, reach underneath the left leg. Inhale the knee up. Exhale the leg down. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Reach toward the floor. Inhale back up. Use your legs if you need to. Exhale, bring the hands behind you. Inhale, lift up the rib cage, lift the chin up. Exhale, release. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale back up. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale back up. Exhale, twist. Twisting to the right first, inhale up, exhale, twist to the left, inhale back up, exhale, reach underneath the right leg, lift the knee up, exhale it down, inhale up, exhale, reach for the left leg, inhale the knee up, exhale it down, inhale, reach up, exhale, bow to the earth, Inhale back up again. Exhale as you reach behind. Inhale the rib cage up, lift up the chin. Exhale, release. Inhale the arms up. Exhale into prayer. Now let's just sit for a moment, nice and straight and tall. Close your eyes for a moment and feel the energy moving through your body. Let's do that sequence one more time. So let's inhale up. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale back up. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale back up. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale back up. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale back up. Exhale, reach underneath the right leg. Inhale that knee up. Exhale it down. Inhale up. Exhale, reach for the left leg. Inhale your knee up. Exhale it down. Inhale up. Exhale, bow to the earth. Inhale back up. Exhale, reach behind. Inhale the rib cage up. Lift your chin up. Exhale, release. Inhale, reach back up. 
Exhale into prayer. And sit nice and tall. Hands flat on your lap. Toes pointed forward, knees pointed forward. Close your eyes for a second. Feel what you feel. Feel the energy moving through your body. We're gonna do a few stretches now in our chair. And one of the benefits of having two blocks is that you can separate your blocks and you can still have a foot on each block. So if you're in a position where you don't have two blocks, you only have one block, you can, for this time being, you can come down and you can press your toes or your ball of your foot down. And your thigh should be resting, if you're sitting in a chair, just on the corners. There should be a nice V here between the knees. So I'm going to come back up onto the blocks. Let's inhale. Exhale. We're going to start to bend forward. We're going to lift our tailbone. We're going to let our belly come down in between. And we're going to reach for the floor. Now, if you feel like this is going too far for you, for your hip joints, for your comfort level, if you feel unbalanced and you might fall, then rest your elbows on your thighs and simply push your belly down, lift your tailbone up. Find a place where you're feeling very stable. I don't want anybody falling off their chair. If you feel you can, if you feel your chair is stable enough, you're going to reach down toward the floor. Now here, if you had a third block, you could actually place a third block here. If you don't have, if you only have got the two, you can reach for the blocks on either side and keep lifting up, lifting up. Keep most of your bottom in touch with the chair. Don't lift up from the chair to do this and just allow yourself to stretch out. We're gonna move our hands over to our right foot and we're gonna take a little bit of a side stretch here. So even if you're in this position, you're just gonna shift your weight so that your chest is coming toward your right knee. Make sure you're not putting weight into your knees, by the way. If you're able to reach down, you're going to reach for your right foot. Let yourself drop down as low as you can. Take a few breaths here. And then we're going to move over to the left. So either you're going to rest on the left thigh or you're going to reach for the left foot. And you're going to shift your weight over toward that area. Now you should mostly be feeling it in your hip joint in your low back area. Lift your tailbone to help take some of the pressure off of your low back. Come back to center. Coming up, if you need support coming up, you're gonna press into the thighs. You're not going to press into your knees. Push up. Don't use your back, use your arms to push you up. And Take a deep breath in, exhale, and just feel what you're feeling in this general area of your body. We're gonna move our blocks so that one of them is straight in front of us. If you only got one block, it's an easy choice. If you're not using a block, you're just going to extend your leg out in front of you and you're gonna be resting on the heel. And that's the case whether you're on a block or on the floor. You're resting on your heel with your toes lifted up. Once again, we're working with balance here. So I want you to make sure that you're only coming down as far as you feel comfortable. If you have a fairly stable chair, you can hang on to the seat of the chair or the back of the chair as you come down to help keep you from feeling like you're falling. You can press into your thigh as you come down, but make sure you're not in this position again where you're gonna fall. So let's take an inhale, lengthen up. As we exhale, we're just gonna bring our tummy and our chest down toward our thigh. Got your hands here on your thigh to help keep you stable. And if you're feeling like you're able to do it, you're gonna to start to reach down your shin toward your toes. 
Keep your bottom planted down. Don't lift your bum up. Now, if your bum is starting to lift up in order to reach down, you need to go back to where your bum is planted. Stretch out, stretch out. Inhale, slowly come back up again. Press into your thigh to push you up. And then we're going to switch sides. Stretch out the left leg this time. Take an inhale, reach up. Exhale, start to come down. If you need to use your thigh for support. Otherwise, we're stretching down again, down our shin, toward our toes. Reach, reach, reach as far as you're able to. Keep your bum planted. Inhale, slowly come back up. Push into your thigh to help raise you up. Now we're going to have both legs extended. So what I'd like you to do for this particular stretch, this is um, this is absolutely a hamstring stretch. So we're coming onto our heels, whether we're on the floor or on our blocks, and we're pressing into our thighs to keep our thighs, our knees from popping. So press into your thighs and bring your belly down until the back of your legs start screaming at you. Now it doesn't take a lot of movement. I just went a little way and my back of my legs is talking to me and I'm fairly flexible. So once you get to that place where it's really, really talking to you, I want you to push into your thighs and come up about two inches. Inhale, exhale, relax back down again. See if you go down a tiny bit deeper. Take a few breaths here. Push into your thighs, come up a couple of inches, inhale up, exhale, relax back down again. Now, most of you should see that you're going a little bit deeper. How much deeper? That depends on your body where it wants to go today. But you'll definitely feel like you went just that teensy bit further. Inhale, push into your thighs, inhale your head back up. Shake your legs out if you feel like you need it. Bring the blocks a little bit closer. And we're gonna come one more time into the forward fold. So we're gonna inhale, reach up, exhale. Knees are right in front of you. You're gonna press your belly and your chest down into your thighs. You're gonna reach out and reach down as far as you can. Keep your bottom planted. If you can reach your toes, you're gonna to try to put your hands underneath your feet. Pull and use the legs, use your ankles, use your toes as the leverage, pull your tummy and your chest down deeper against your thighs. This is a back stretch. You should be feeling it mostly in the lower part of your back. Inhale, come up. If you need to, press into your thighs to reach back up again. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, into prayer. And without leaning back into your chair, sit up nice and straight and close your eyes. And just feel your body sensations. So now we're gonna go into the warrior postures. So I want you to be very mindful about this. If you feel any discomfort in around your hip joints, and I haven't given you a modification to try, just rearrange that leg where you're feeling it until you feel stretching, not pain, or total discomfort. So we're gonna take one of our blocks, and if you only have one, it's probably all you need, and we're gonna slide it over to the side. And I'm gonna put my right foot on it. And I'm gonna move the block until I can see my toes. I wanna to see my toes. One of the things that um, really irks me when I watch television commercials where people are doing yoga is I see them doing this, this position where the knee is extended out to either as far as the toes or past the toes. 
Now, what happens is right in here is a very delicate area where there's a pad that protects us from the friction of walking and having these two bones, the upper and lower part of the leg, um, rub against each other when we walk and we bend our leg. And if we are in a, a position where we're putting too much pressure here, we can damage this really badly. And we don't want that to happen. We want to have a very stable position in yoga. We don't want to do damage. So the powers that be out there in their wisdom warned us about that and told us, get your leg in a position where if you can sit up straight, look down and see at least your toes, you know you're in a really good alignment. And that doesn't change if you're in a chair. So this leg is going to be placed anywhere from the middle of your chair to back behind you. And you're going to turn yourself so that your hips are facing forward toward the direction your knee is pointing. Now, if you've got a back on your chair, you can take your right arm and you can place it on the back of the chair for stability. What you want to feel is a little bit of pulling in here, but not a lot of pain. You don't want to feel any pain here. If you're feeling pain, you've got to move that leg until you feel nothing but a little bit of a stretch, maybe. Try to keep most of your bottom planted on the chair. If your chair is not very big and you absolutely have to for stability, you can let a little bit of your left cheek hang off, but not much. Once you're facing forward, your hips are facing the direction your leg is pointed here. Then we're going to raise our arms up toward the ceiling. You're going to get a little bit of discomfort right in here, where this is this muscle in here is starting to press against the hip bone. As long as it's not pain, which is sharp, sudden, and I want to stop it because it hurts a lot, you're okay. Take an inhale. As you exhale, we're going to come into that forward fold again. So please feel free to reach for your thigh and allow it to guide you down. For those of you that think you are balanced enough here, you're going to bring your chest and your leg, sorry, your chest and your tummy down onto your thigh, and you're going to reach for the floor. Inhale, slowly come up. Use your leg if you need to to come back up. Reach up. Exhale your right arm down, and you can lay it across your thigh. Take your left hand, put it behind your back, and we're going to lift that shoulder up in the direction of the ceiling. Drop it back down toward the floor. Inhale back up into warrior one. Exhale, release your hands, and we're going to switch sides. So you can rotate over to the other side, bring your block with you. If you only have one, that two, you can have one on this side waiting for you. Now each side of our body is different, so please keep in mind that just because the other side felt really great having this leg kicked way back here does not mean it will feel like that this time and vice versa. Just because it hurt last time doesn't mean you can't do it last, this time. Hips are facing forward. I'm glancing down from an upright position. I can see my toe wiggling down there. Inhale your arms up, and if you need to, you can hang on to the back of the chair. Breathe here. Take an inhale. On your exhale, you're going to bring your tummy and your chest down toward your thigh. And you're going to reach toward the floor. If you need to, use your thigh as support. Don't lean into your knee. Inhale back up again. Reach up for the ceiling. Exhale, bring your left hand down to your thigh, bring the right hand behind your back, lift your shoulder up, have a look up toward the ceiling. Release, come back forward, inhale the arms up, reach up. Exhale, release. 
And let's come back around to the other side. We're going to do warrior two now. So warrior two, your setup and the beginning is the same. Foot in the same position. Make sure you can see your toe. This time, though, we're going to have our hips facing sideways a little bit more. If you're sitting in a chair, a wood chair or something, or, or a, a dinner um, dining room chair, you want to have that corner of the chair facing pretty much the direction your hips are facing that way. If you're sitting on a stool that, or a chair that's round, you're going to try to at least get your hips over onto an angle here so that you're not facing forward, you're facing a little bit sideways. And again, we're gonna slide this leg until we feel a little bit of pressure here to open it up and we're gonna push our heel back as far as we can. Now you can have your foot anywhere from here. And if you're feeling some pulling in here, you're still doing it. So just find that place where you feel a little bit of pressure and push the heel back just a little further than your toes are. And inhale your arms up, reaching for each wall in the opposite direction. And when we're here, we're not, le we're not leaning forward. We're not reaching too much forward. We're not allowing our back arm to pull us back. We're trying to find a center spot. Look out over your middle finger of your front hand. Take an inhale. As you exhale, release the back hand down. Inhale the front palm up. You can hang onto your chair if you need to. And tip your palm so that you can look at it. Take another inhale. Exhale. Drop your arm down onto your thigh. Lift that shoulder up, the left shoulder up toward the ceiling. And reach overhead. So this arm under arm, sorry, this arm can go under or over. Whatever works for your shoulder. And try to reach that opposite wall and press your back leg down firmly and your foot into the floor. Reach. Take an inhale. As you exhale, bring the back hand down, the front hand up. Let's come back into that proud warrior. Take an inhale. As you exhale, come into the side angle. Come back up. From here, we're going to reach a little bit more forward, then drop our arm down, and we're going to try to press it right into the inside of our thigh. If you need to, you can grab the chair. The other hand is going to rest on your shoulder for a second as you lift the shoulder up, and then we're going to reach for the ceiling. This is triangle. Drop it back down again. Now remember, if doing the arm reach was not possible for you, it was flailing out here someplace, then just think about just getting that shoulder up toward the ceiling. Come back into the warrior position. Drop your hands down, and we're going to switch sides. Coming over to the other side. Slide this leg back. Check your toes. Make sure you can just see your toes. And you're facing on the sideways position, not straight forward. Just got a charley horse. Even yoga instructors get charley horses. Reach out. Make sure you're stable in the center. Drop the back hand down. Reach up. Have a look at your palm. Take an inhale. On your exhale, drop your forearm down into your thigh, lift the shoulder up toward the ceiling, and reach. Side angle. Come back into the proud warrior. Come back into side angle. Come back up, warrior two, reach a little bit forward, then we're going to tip. We're gonna lift the shoulder up toward the ceiling, and if we can, we're gonna reach for it, triangle. 
Back down again, warrior two. Drop the hands down. Now, this time we're going to come into the wide leg stance. So what I'd like you to do, you're sitting on a chair that is square, is to get your legs as wide apart as you're able to in the chair. So for some of us, we might be able to get it past the front corners of the chair. For others, you may only be able to get yourself wide enough to touch these corners of the chair. Other people may not be able to even do that much. You may have most of your thighs resting on the chair. So get as wide as you can. And we're sitting, well, once we're sitting like this, we're in a kind of a squat position. So bring your feet in just a little bit closer. Take an inhale, and as you inhale, lift up off the chair and drop back down. Okay, so you may have to lean forward a little bit to do that. If you can push into your feet and come straight up, fantastic. Just keep going. Keep breathing. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Just keep going. I'll tell you when to stop. If you need to stop, stop. Don't do more than you're able to do today. Next time you land, stay there. Just sit for a moment and then heel toe your feet till you can get to the front of your chair. And let's just sit for a moment in our mountain or our seated mountain pose. So, got two blocks here. If you've got one, just get your one block in front of you. Plant your feet down. I want you to press your feet down. You need to. Use a little support by pressing into your thighs, sitting up nice and straight. Take a deep breath in, in through the nose. Exhale slowly through the nose. Pull the shoulder blades back, pull the shoulders back. Palms are resting on your thighs, fingers pointed forward. And then if you're able to, drop your hands down beside you, arms facing forward. Keep pushing the shoulder blades together. Press your bottom firmly into the seat that you're sitting on. Breathe deep, deep breaths, lifting the chest up. Inhale into the belly. Exhale slowly. And let your eyes come open back into a more relaxed position. We're going to come into the chair version of Sukhasana, easy pose. So let's put one foot on one side, of, if you've got two blocks, and cross at the ankles and let the thighs relax out. Just sit here for a moment. Just let your shoulders relax. Take a few deep breaths. At this point, if you have a blanket and you would like to grab it, you could grab it quickly. Otherwise, we're going to go into Shavasana. So I want you to move now back to the point where your bottom and the back of your chair, if you have that, is uh, there. And now you're allowed to lean back into the chair. If you're sitting on a stool, just allow yourself now to just relax. Relax your muscles. Let your chin drop into your chest. We're going to take a few moments in Shavasana. So begin to let everything feel relaxed. Let your legs relax. Let your breathing start to relax. Go back to whatever your natural breathing pattern is. Let your chin drop into your chest. And allow your mind to just drift away to a beautiful place, a place where you feel most at peace. Just go there, just go and spend some time. Your hands can be folded in your lap. 
It can be hand, a hand on your heart, a hand on your belly. Whatever you feel like doing in this particular time, just listen to that, listen to your body and do it. Go to that place, stay there, spend some time there. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Gently waking your body up. Take a few nice, slow, deep breaths. Just feel what you're feeling right now. When you're ready, Wait a minute, excuse me. Let your eyes come open. Sorry about that. Let's come into prayer position. And we're going to close our class today by chanting Om. One beautiful Om. So we'll take an inhale and an exhale first, and then we'll inhale for the Om. So let's inhale, exhale. Inhaling for all. Oh. Rub your hands together, generating some beautiful, beautiful prana. And as you do this, think of the places right now inside you that could use a little bit of healing energy. Close your eyes, place your palms over your closed eyes, and when you breathe in, open them. Send that energy right to where it needs to go. And on your exhale, palms to ceiling, sending beautiful energy back into the universe. But scoop up a little bit. Take it back to your heart center. Namaste.